Lisa with eDrinkAndBeSkinny.com and also the author of Skinny Teenies. I'm here with Natalie from Bear Mixers. Hi. Today is May 3rd, meaning we have Cinco de Mayo right around the corner, which is notorious for a fiesta. Correct. Plentiful margaritas. And unfortunately, we don't want to be the ones to tell you this, but margaritas are one of the highest calorie alcohol beverages there are, averaging at least about 300 calories. At least. Typically five to 700. Yeah, and you have, when you add two or three of those into a fun night, it could actually, it, it's got a pretty tax, pretty heavy tax to put on your waistline. But the really good news is that there are ways around it. Um, today we're going to show you three great low calorie options, all natural options, with some really fun, innovative products. So I'm going to let Natalie kick it off here with her Bear Mixer Margarita. Okay, so today uh, with my product, Bear Mixers, we're going to make a really quick and easy cocktail. Um, Bear Mixers is low cal, it's all natural, and it's gluten free. And it's only four ingredients, so it's really clean and light and fresh and simple. Um, it just has lemon, lime, water, and organic agave nectar in it. It's super easy to use. So today I am going to make a margarita. We're going to do about three and a half ounces of the Bear Mixers, simply one and a half ounces of the. Yeah. About 114 calories. It's really clean, simple, delicious, and low cal. Hey! Cheers! Now I'm going to show you how to make the original skinny margarita, which I featured in my book, which came out in 2009. I love Natalie's product because it's so easy. It's two ingredients, and I always believe in making things as easy as possible. But if you didn't order your bear mixer ahead of time and you want your party to happen tomorrow, you need to have another alternative. So everything in this recipe you can find at the grocery store. So while it's a little bit more than two ingredients, they're still really simple and easy to find. And all we're really looking to do is to find a lower calorie way to replace the sweet and sour. The sweet and sour is the base of the margarita and it's just sugar water. So what we're using instead is a grapefruit juice that you would just buy in the um, juice aisle of the grocery store. Light orange juice with no pulp, because the pulp can leave kind of a funky mess on the side of, of tequila. So we're gonna use three ounces of, this, of the tequila. We're gonna have it pour over ice here. I'm gonna add some fresh lime juice to give it that zing that it needs. I'm gonna have a bite in it, because you all know what grapefruit juice tastes like. So I'm gonna add some stevia, which is an all natural, zero calorie sweetener. Just like this, I'm shake it all up. And I do like to serve my margaritas over ice. Come over here so we can cheers to this wonderful Cinco de Mayo and this very skinny margarita. Cheers. cheers! Okay, so for our third cocktail tonight, we're gonna do something called a functional margarita. Can you tell me what that means exactly? Yes! I think that as consumers we've evolved just a little bit and I think that skinny great drinks and skinny martinis and skinny margaritas are great. By that I mean we're not using any sweetener. So whether it be artificial or natural, we're not going to use any sweetener. So what we're going to use is we're going to use real whole fresh ingredients that carry a lot of flavor and we're going to use that to sweeten the cocktail. So with that, without you know using a juice version of something, we're actually using the fruit. So you get the vitamins, you get the nutrition, you get the flavor. I'm gonna throw it all in the blender. So while it's still a cocktail, there's actually gonna be some functional benefits to this. So we have a fresh pineapple. Okay. Like cut those up, that's yeah. always fun. Mango, totally in season right now. They're two for a dollar. Wow. Fresh basil. Can you smell that? carries a lot of flavor. It carries a little bit more than you would think it would. And then again, we're gonna use fresh lime, which is really famous for a margarita, and then also the tequila. So the exact recipe to this margarita is on the block. It's on each to be skinny. We would toss them in the blender, which I did ahead of time, because that's how sophisticated we are. Woo! It in. It looks delicious. Uh, because the ice is already in it, because it's blended, we can serve it up. It doesn't have to be on the rocks, because it's already iced. It's about 148, I think. Holy cow! And that is delicious. Impressed. Ooh, thank you, delicious. thank you. You must try this one. It's absolutely. We tried to bring you a, a nice sampling of a traditional margarita, a simple margarita, and then because I think it's something a little on the fancier side. And you can just mix this up for breakfast too. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's gonna be a wonderful morning too. Cheers, happy Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, to go to lunch.